Bumper to bumper, blood pressure rising. Traffic jams are a daily headache for most drivers. So just imagine this, jumping into one of these pods, whizzing to the town centre in special lanes without the traffic, maybe reading a newspaper as you travel. There's just one catch. There's no driver. It may sound futuristic, but by 2015, this will be reality in Milton Keynes, with the government putting 1.5 million towards these driverless cars. So you just get into a driverless car, is that what you're saying? That's a bit total recall. If it was safe, then yeah, I'd use one. If they came into my house, I'd use one. The buses are a bit naff, so... Initially, 20 pods will run between the station and the centre of Milton Keynes. That will rise to 100 by 2017. They'll travel at speeds of around 12 miles an hour and will drive on the pavement, using sensors to avoid crashing into people. Auto driving. Google has already introduced driverless cars to California. They've driven more than 400,000 miles without a major crash. Proof it's claimed the UK's pods can also be safe. We'll start them initially actually with driving, so people will be driving them to start with, so that people can get used to actually seeing them on the uh, particular pathways uh, and they can get used to interacting with them and not be frightened by them and have confidence that they're actually safe to work with. Letting go of the wheel is a huge step for many, but if they take off, it's hoped these pods will cut traffic, pollution and hopefully drive us stress. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News.